Welcome back to the Express at the Ships to Shore Festival in Steveston Village. A chance to look back at our maritime history. Although up next on the Express, we're looking to the future, meeting two young filmmakers who were part of the recent Surrey International Film Festival. And I think that having the candle over here Best friends Alicia and Justine work on a short film which will be screened at this year's Surrey International Film Festival. It's a short film called Solace. Um, it's really about a girl trying to overcome her grief of uh, her lost brother. So we were inspired by White Rock. We really wanted to film down there and we, we loved the ocean and the pier so we just really wanted to play off of that. My dearest family, Know that I'm not leaving you. And the best thing about working in a team is being able to bounce ideas off of each other. So if somebody has a good idea, you can definitely like reflect on that and build from that. Would we really be able to pull off such a sad topic? Solace is the third film that this creative young team has submitted to the Surrey Film Festival. The first was their grade nine PSA about depression. And in grade 10, they entered a film called A Rose is a Rose is a Rose. In addition to their collaborative work, which involves Alicia behind the camera and Justine doing a lot of the editing, they have also both submitted films individually in the experimental category. It's only in your heart. I think the Surrey International Film Festival is different because it showcases young and emerging filmmakers. Uh, it gives the chance for student filmmakers who have either made their first film or their second film, it gives them a chance to see their work on the big screen. And what we're really trying to do is create a community of um, filmmakers around the world and make Surrey the hub of this uh, talented group of individuals. I think that in post-production, it'll be really critical to bring out the blues. Talented individuals like Alicia and Justine, who will have their fingers crossed to win the Best of the Festival award this year. It's great to have things like the Surrey Film Festival because if you're thinking about going into film, it really helps establish that because if you love things like this, you really know that's what you want to go into. So it's really helped me realize what I want from it and what I want to do. Being able to express your films in a bigger environment where there are other people judging and giving you feedback on it is really helpful. Yeah, I really like that. It looks really good. In Surrey, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express. I think this is going to be our best yeah. film yet. It's going to be awesome. Alicia and Justine's film Solace was well received and they're already planning their project for next year, which will be their grade 12 year. Just imagine where they'll be in 10 years. You can get details on the festival at surreyfilmfest.ca. Now, as the theme is on today's show, we look to the future, we look to the past. And it's time now to reminisce with the wedding bells when Sarah was planning her Italian-style wedding. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure to plan the big day. I do. Sarah is getting married in a boot. Aubrey, I'm getting married in Italy, a land known for romance. And fast cars. And pasta. And hot boys. Bellissima! At the Italian Cultural Center, they know one key to a successful Italian wedding is tomato sauce. And my mama's tomato sauce is the best tomato sauce. No, my mama's tomato my sauce mama's is the best tomato, tomato sauce. sauce. Oh, and the stereotypes had begun. Well, everybody has their own idea about what tomato sauce is, but general thing is you want to do onions, garlic, celery, which is the holy trinity for mirepoix. Tomato sauce is very important, especially if it's for your daughter's wedding. Fabio Rosotto said one father of the bride's his secret. So, his secret to the sauce was he added ham hock. He wanted to add pig's foot. That's exactly what he wanted. So he, well, he, I, he, I would he, keep he, a secret. <laughs> Aubrey, has there ever been an Italian wedding without tomato sauce? <laughs> Never. Chef Rebecca Johnson told us her secret to crushing tomatoes. You want to squeeze the tomato, just poke it with your fingers first and then squeeze. This reminds me of Halloween, remember? 
you go through the haunted house, you stick your hands in different things, you have to guess what kind oh, of food it was. It's just somebody's brains. Yeah, they're like, this is brains. And you're like, oh, no, it's not, it's tomatoes. I think it feels really good, like I'm at the spa. Okay, weirdo. This is where we do make our tomato sauce, and we actually, all our sauces. Speaking of weird. So I've been asking to go into this vat, because it can fit me, but Rebecca says it's unhygienic. So Italian weddings are quite different. Your typical wedding is anywhere from 12 to 16 courses. At Italian weddings, they'll have to cook for up to 700 people. Meanwhile, I was cooking for two. Nice change from my usual cooking for one. Buon appetito! Delicioso. Perfecto. After Sarah enjoyed our meal, we learned what not to say in Italy. Pasta comes from Marco Polo when he went to China and found noodles and brought noodles back to Italy. Thanks, China. You don't say that to an Italian. And you also you don't, don't mention. I can't help but think about Italy and not think about the mob. Just make sure you don't say that there. That's one of these ones. <laughs> OK. Well, what should we say? Piacere. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Piacere. Piacere. Meraviglioso which means marvelous. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Speriamo che sia un amore sincero. What does it mean? I hope it's going to be a true love. <gasps> Ragazzi. Ragazzi. That means boys. Oh, God! <laughs> Ragazzi! Aha. Like I said, a land known for hot boys. Big weddings and true love. For Shaw TV, we are the wedding bells. Okay, that tomato sauce looks so good, I admit I would lick it off the plate too. You're watching the Express at the Ships to Shore Festival in Steveston. We've got more tall ship touring, plus these stories coming up. He's right into that <laughs> camera. Quality assured collision road trip. Kelowna's Kangaroo Creek Farm. Let's sit nice and tall and close our eyes. Triathlon training with the Whistler Adaptive Sports Program. The Express, we are your local voice. The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward. Be part of a winning team. Army Cadets is a great place for young adults interested in making the great outdoors their classroom. For more information on this exciting and free program in Surrey, White Rock, Vancouver, Seashell, Port Coquitlam, Langley or Delta, call 778-837-9093 today. Welcome back to the Express at Steveston Village for the Ships to Shore Festival. Hanging with the tall ships, also a chance to see new things, try new things. And if you haven't gotten into fish and chips yet, taste new things. Aren't those all the great ingredients of a road trip? Well, another one is making new friends, including unexpected ones like a wallaby. And that's what's happening on today's Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. Travel along with us as we explore the many marvelous attractions and activities of beautiful British Columbia on the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. In this episode of Road Trip, we leave the hustle and bustle of city life behind to visit some fascinating creatures. Uh -oh. He's right into that <laughs> camera. About 20 kilometers north of Kelowna in Lake Country, BC, is Kangaroo Creek Farm. Countless generations of joeys have been born here, not as house pets, but as an alternative to traditional hobby farm type creatures. How old is this one? He's been out of the pouch for about two weeks. That's it. Yeah. Here at Kangaroo Creek, you get to visit these captivating creatures with no fences in the way, watching them interact with one another and live a carefree life munching on brush and grazing in fields isn't an everyday occurrence for Canadians. And Caroline is all too happy to answer any questions, including the difference between kangaroos and wallabies. She is a type of kangaroo called a wallaby. A lot of people think there's a difference between a wallaby and a kangaroo. There's, there's not. It's kind of like the relationship between a pony and a horse. A horse is a horse if it's 13, 2 and over. A kangaroo is a kangaroo if its foot is longer than 10 inches as an adult. If it's less than 10 inches as an adult, it's a wallaby. Some animals love their pouch so much that if you keep giving them a bigger and bigger sack to jump into, they'll use it to sleep in even as an adult. If you hang a sack on, on the barn wall, they'll, they'll jump into it and they'll sleep in it at night. And others lose interest very quickly. I think the reason why people enjoy them so much is 
because it's so unexpected. You occasionally see kangaroos and wallabies in zoos, but it's at a distance. There is no interaction. Some people come here kind of expecting more of a zoo situation, and so they expect more variety of animals. Um, that's not really what we're about. We do have a few other things here other than kangaroos, but the emphasis is definitely on the kangaroos and the wallabies. I learned a lot about these springy creatures during our trip to Kangaroo Creek. Firstly, these guys definitely aren't house pets. They don't ride in cars or walk on leashes or do tricks, but they do love corn chips. Oh, thank you. Oh, you like my ring? When they're older, if they're females, they'll make like a booming noise. I think he got her bouncing over that bridge, which would have been cute. Kangaroo Creek Farm is open from June 30th to Labor Day, every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Check online for directions and more information. You want to go for a little rerun with me? Come on. Come on. Come on. From Lake Country, I'm Tammy Williams. Entertaining and informative, the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. Weekends on Shaw TV. Always something new and exciting. Generally, Kangaroo Creek Farm is open from 10 until 2, but if the weather starts getting warmer, they may shorten the hours for the comfort of the animals, so it's always best to call ahead. You're watching The Express, and it's time now to take a super fast road trip to Whistler. We're joining Nicole Fitzgerald in the village, which is a great place to play, isn't it, for all ages and abilities? That's right, Johanna. The Whistler Adaptive Sports Program ensures that everyone enjoys the great outdoors. The nonprofit organization provides programming for people with disabilities. And in the summer, that means getting ready for a triathlon. Let's sit nice and tall and close our eyes. And just start to let go of your day. I do like doing skiing and yoga and biking and all that stuff. Breathe in, breathe out. Brad Monteith is like any other Whistlerite. The active outdoorsman enjoys pushing his body to learn new things. Downward dog at the first, that, that was definitely the hardest uh, pose that i ever done. But yeah, it was good, it felt good. Come on this side, Brad. That's it. But recreational sport wasn't enough. He needed goals, he needed teammates, and a new challenge. The Whistler Try a Try race was the perfect fit. The triathlon went really well. Um, felt good, ran, ran good. Yeah. And the Whistler Adaptive Sports Program's new triathlon program helped him get there. The six week program invites aspiring athletes who have cognitive challenges such as autism, Down syndrome, or anxiety disorder to train three to five days a week. We wanted to exchange recreational programs uh, and start to introduce a competitive element right. and now we're taking that and exchanging them for even longer term goals like training for a half marathon next year. Okay, reach them all the way up, expand. The program is designed around athletes' abilities. Like any national team, they undergo fitness testing twice a year and then instructors such as Crystal Brown build a program around those findings. Good job. We had an athlete who came to us and said, you know, they really wanted to work on the focus aspects and uh, being able to just really calm themselves down, getting ready for competitions. And we are really fortunate to find Crystal Brown. And then walk your hands back to the middle. The program is already seeing results. Most of the athletes have lost on average 25 pounds, but what is most important is what they gained. You get to meet new people and just have fun. They're always very friendly and very nice and kind to me um, and I always have a great time with them and we're always, um, I'm always the funny one in the group. <laughs> Individuals no longer, this close-knit team led by instructors such as Chris Kennedy is growing stronger. So we're all down at that end and then we'll do the same thing back. If we have the opportunity to add a residential aspect. I anticipate we would see athletes from across BC and Canada relocate to Whistler to access this type of programming because it's so unique. A unique program tailor-made to one-of-a-kind individuals. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. The website is whistleradaptive.com to find out about all of their summer activities, including kayaking, canoeing, mountain biking, and hiking. And for more things to do in the Sea to Sky, Metro Vancouver, and the Fraser Valley, here's the 411 on the FYI. Radar's Quality Assured Collisions FYI is presented by Radar's Quality Assured Collision, an ICBC Valley accredited repair facility. 
drop in at City Center Library in Surrey July 6th and 7th for the African Stages Storytelling Festival. You can visit them on Facebook for details. Join the Miles for Smiles fundraiser July 8th to benefit the Semiamu House Society, a 5K walk or run followed by live music at South Surrey Athletic Park. Catch the sporting action of the Rugby Sevens Tournament and Festival July 21st and 22nd at Swan Guard Stadium in Burnaby. Radar's Quality Assured Collisions FYI was presented by Radar's Quality Assured Collision. Also, to find out about Ships to Shore Steve's in 2013, you can go to the website richmond.ca slash ships to shore. That's it for today's Express. Ahoy, mateys, and thanks for watching.